Hi there, this is Kim. Today I'm going to show you how to make quick half square triangles using five inch charm squares. Choose two prints that you like to use, placing them right sides together. Um, make sure that um, there's some contrast to your prints. And um, starting at a quarter inch after the beginning of the one side and ending a quarter inch before the end of that one side, you're going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around pivoting um, at each um, corner to um, get that quarter inch seam allowance. Um, once you're done with that, you're going to um, take your ruler and cut on both diagonals. Make sure to keep them all together um, so that um, you can um, cut them on the diagonal. Um, once you're done with that, you're going to open up your half square triangle and you've got four half square triangles. It's a really quick and easy way to make half square triangles. Um, I'm using a bone folder to press the seams open, but you would take yours to your ironing board and uh, press your seams flat. Uh, so once that's done, I have a six inch um, square ruler. Um, it has the uh, uh, diagonal line right on it. So I'm using that to square up the half square triangles to three inch square. Um, I'm just keep going to finish trimming all four half square triangles. Once you're done with that, you know, there's a little dog ears that's um, sticking out from your seam allowance. Um, I'm going to just trim that off once I have all of the half square triangles um, all squared away and then lay out all four half square triangles to make sure that it looks like a pinwheel. So once you're happy with the layout, um, you're going to take it back to your sewing machine and uh, flipping um, each row right sides together, you're going to sew uh, using a quarter inch seam allowance. And uh, once that's done, you, um, you're going to make sure that um, your pinwheel block is still oriented the right way um, because that way um, you know when you start to sew the uh, two rows together that it does look like a pinwheel so like with mine um, when I checked um, it wasn't right and so I clipped the thread that was connecting the two rows together to fix my rows so that it still does uh, resemble the pinwheel block and then I just sew the rows together and um, um, at this point you want to sew, uh, I mean you want to press your seam allowance open um, to keep that center of pinwheel point flat. And there you have it. Um, these pinwheel blocks are really quick and easy to make. You could also check out my blog at www.lilypatchquilts.com for more um, sewing and quilting projects and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.